Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Best ankle rehabilitation. That's a mouthful, isn't it, Bob? Best ankle rehabilitation exercises for those recovering from ankle injury. There you go. So we're gonna do a seven step process. We're gonna take you from when you first injure the ankle all the way to advanced. And these all can be done at home. Um, relatively simple. Uh, most of them don't even need equipment. Right, um, but a lot and of, nothing expensive. Yeah, nothing expensive. And take note seven. Seven. The number seven is complete, Bob. Your you cannot favorite go number. wrong with the number seven. So seven steps will get you there. All right, very good. Uh, by the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you're gonna wanna go over to the Facebook and like us, Bob and Brad. Because once again, you like us and we give you positive vibes. There you it's go. A cool thing. And a better ankle. And a better ankle, yeah. All right, so what are we going to start off with, Brad? We just hurt our ankle. Well, the ankle, as we know, is one of the most injured joints in the human body in the United States. Right. And it's probably that way across the Very world. Very common. I've injured mine. I'm sure you've injured yours. Yeah, how many people have not sprained their ankle by right. the time you're 10 years old or at least right. 15? Uh, so anyways... The first thing you're gonna do, and this is not part of the seven, is get a cold pack on it and be nice to it. You yeah, know? you gotta get it to calm down, mm -hmm. get the swelling down. Uh, you may wanna wrap it. Uh, right. But once you're beyond that phase. It, you wanna get it moving as soon as possible. Yes, you do. Even if it's swollen, what you can do without putting any weight through it, we're gonna do, this is one of my favorite things, is the ABCs. Right. The, it's the beginning of the alphabet, the beginning of an ankle rehab. So you pretend, like Bob's gonna pretend he's got a piece of chalk on the end of his toe, and then there's a blackboard. You know, younger people just, you know, think of digital things here. But he's gonna make an A with a- Capital A, though. Ca yeah, yeah, capitals work better. And then he crossed it. And then I go B. B, then you go to the up. C. Now, you'll find, you can keep going, Bob. By the time, if it's still sore, you may only get to C or D, and that be, may be hurting, and, and then it's time to stop. Right. But then the next day, as it feels a little bit better, you might get to the letter D or E. And, you know, you're going to do this until you can go on, you know, if you can get the whole, whole alphabet done, you know, you're ready probably for, to stand on it and go to step number two. Well, I would say, wouldn't you want to do this a couple times a day, Brad? Sure, yeah. yeah I wouldn't right. do it just once a day. I would, and, and actually, possibly three times, you'll yeah, stagger it out. Right. I, I would go ahead and, and get, you want to get moving in there. So, I mean, you right, could even do it right. five times a day, I would say. Sure. Yeah. But not 10. Not 10, no, not, and not 7, because that's the title <laughs> of this song. Okay. All right, we're off to the next one, Brad. Then once it starts feeling good with the ABCs, and you can start to put a little weight through it, it's feeling better, then we want to strengthen it, and we're going to use it. This is still no weight bearing. We're going to go to that phase yet. And you do need a little stretch band. Now, if you only have like this ribbon type of stretch band, you're going to want to tie it into a loop so you got a continuous loop. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. You can get these. These are these cheap. are really inexpensive, right? Yeah. And you know, so one way or another, you you need a loop type stretch. And band. we're gonna you're gonna be able to use this for more than one exercise, yep. which we'll show you later. So um, it might be I might pay to get one of these, and we'll have it down in our preferred products. Right. It's it's down there, I believe. So I hope. <laughs> now this is done best with a shoe on. You could do it with the shoe off, but the, the sole of your shoe actually helps uh, grab into the, the stretch band. And we're just going to simply do plantar flexion, just like that. And, you know, you need to do about 10 of them, if you want, 10 to 15. And you can, you know, as, as long as you can do the ABCs, you're probably ready for this. If you need to get a little bit more resistance because it's too easy, pull on the stretch band. The darker the color of the stretch band, typically the more resistance. This is orange, this is kind of in the middle, meat, yeah. middle early range. Now we want to get all four directions. Now that's one of the most important ones. The second most important one, maybe the most important would be this one. Right. You just take your healthy foot, go over there and see that motion. In the therapy world, we call that eversion, e EV, eversion. And that's more than likely the tissues that you tore when you sprained it, there's a 90% likelihood of that statistically, and 10 to 15 of those. And if it's too hard, you know, start out with baby ones, tighten it up and get bigger. And 
Then the next two motions to get the in motion, what I found works good if you're by yourself and you have nobody. Actually, you don't even have to lift it up, Bob. Um, you need something stable, though. Yeah. Something that's not going to move. So you're going to have to put it probably on a couch or something. Yeah, if you got a big, heavy uh, yeah, dining room table. Or in my case, I'm just having Bob sit on this right. so it doesn't move. Okay. So I'll do the motion in this way. Oh, you're going to be able yeah, to show yeah, that Yeah, I, I will. So now I'm going to go inward. Now, even on a healthy ankle like mine. It this, works, isn't it? It works, but this is not as strong naturally. It doesn't have as many muscles supporting it. But uh, again, 10 to 15 repetitions that way. And then you can leave it right there. You just have to move your chair a little bit. And we're going to pull the toe up or dorsiflexion. Dorsi meaning the top, right? Like on a, the dorsal fin of a fish. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Dorsal. That's, yeah, that's dorsal. how I remembered it. Right. That's how. Uh, right. Okay. So you're going to do 10 to 15 of those. And again, two to three times a day. You know, morning, afternoon, evening. Very good. If it does swell up after that, a little bit gets sore, put a cold pack on it. And then apparently we're going to go to weight bearing, huh? Yeah. Now it's feeling better. You can walk on it, but it's it's still uneasy. But it's feeling better. We want to progress it with weight. So shall we do that, Bob? Sure. I can't remember what we're going to do. We're going to do a heel to toes. <laughs> okay, good. Ups. I'm no. going to. You, you can use something. You can have a chair to hold on to. We're, I'm going to use this, the the bouillon stick because this actually works a little bit better. But you can go, with, you know, a cupboard or whatever. There you go. You ready, Bob? Yep, I'm ready. So simply up on your toes, go back. So right now you see he's using both legs. He's right. Not, even though he only injured one ankle, he's doing it on both. Yep. And you, again, 10 to 15 of these. When this, if you only can start out and do four or five and it starts to hurt, then it's just time to stop. You know, wait till the next session in the afternoon and see how it goes. And then we're going to go to one. Yep. And this is where you definitely probably need to hold on to something because I right. need to hold on to something right now. Yep. So if the right ankle is a sore one and that's the one you're going up and down on, usually the cane or the stick is going to be in the left hand. Or, or hanging on to something, yep. right? Like a back of a chair. That or works. Countertop. Good. Yep. There you go. Again, okay. once you get to 10 to 15 of these, it's feeling pretty good. You're, you're ready to get going. We need to strengthen the ankle in other directions. Right. So. This is one of my favorite. I call it the Ziggy Zaggy. Yeah. Okay. This he, is one he, Bob taught me a number of years ago. I invented it, but you named it. <laughs> so, and I've routine. used this on many, many patients. Sure. And people like it because you don't need anything but a floor. Right. And uh, you should have some shoes on. And you simply do this. Come and this on, works baby. a lot of little intrinsic muscles in the ankles. And it's working balance. And, you know, you get some music going. You can, you know. Let's do the twist. Yeah, yeah. get someone <laughs> singing in the house like Bob, and then you'll get better. <laughs> now, when this, you know, you, I usually have people go about five or ten feet one way and then go back the other way. When it starts to get tired, you stop. If it starts to hurt, then you give it a break. Yeah, you'll find out it gets tired fairly rapidly because right. mine's tired already. Yeah, once you get done and you can do two or three lengths of that distance, and it's like, oh, it's feeling pretty good. That's when you need something to hold on to a cane, right. a stick, and we're going to stay do this on one leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is quite a big difference. Oh, jeez. <laughs> even with he healthy Even ankle. healthy ankles, yeah, it's you, tough. You might even want to have two sticks. <laughs> there you go. And take your time with this. But this is really good for yeah, getting okay. those uh, outer the, the muscles on the side inversion of the ankle. E version right. and, and, and all the and those are the, key right. to a uh, ankle sprain to get it better okay the next one we're just going to do simple lunges forward make sure you go right foot and left foot even though you only sprained one ankle do both now one thing when we're doing these we're going out like this and we're dipping down the knee should not go beyond the toe right do it do it incorrectly once bob yeah so we don't want that knee to go past right. the toe you want to stay above it. Yeah. So actually behind. you go out and then you think about going down as right. opposed to way forward. Okay. And then also go backwards. It's good to step backwards. It's just another direction. Works different muscles. Do 10 of those. Again, the same rules. If you can, if you fatigue before 10, wait for the next round. And then we're going to go sideways. This is really important because it really strengthens those outer muscles protected the ankle. Okay. 
Da, 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 da. What happened? Nothing, nothing. He's playing games with me. No, no, we're fine. I'll give you more <laughs> Ooh, yeah. than you deserve. Okay. Uh, hip four direction with band, Brad. You oh, skipped that one. Forgot about that, but you can do these about the same yeah. time. Now, you can use the loop, or I'm going to use, this works really good if you happen to have a band, and you can connect the band to the wall somehow. Yeah, or a wall anchor yep. unit, this is a great one to do because you can do a lot of exercises with it. But and, and we have our wall anchors here in our favorite exercise thing below the video. And we're going to do, if my right leg is the one that's injured, you can start with the right leg, 10 to 15 reps like this. So I'm doing it with the band. Now, yeah, you cannot see the band very well, but oh. he's got it wrapped around his, his cute shorts. Well, yeah. well, you know, it's uh, covered by your, your shorts. I don't think you should be calling them cute shorts. Well, you know, I don't know Not what they very are. very manly. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, we're uh, going uh, to the side. He's got the shorts. <laughs> uh, and right. you see you go all four directions, and you not only do it with the resistance on one leg, but then you switch. I'm not going to do it right now, but I would take this off and put it on this leg and do it the other leg. So both legs experience weight bearing. People may be wondering why are we strengthening the hips after the ankles? Uh, it's a good question. The hip abductor, and they've done studies on this, always gets weak after a sprained ankle sure. or even a knee injury. That yeah. hip and that, that muscle is critical for stabilization with right. walking and particularly You don't running. want to re-sprain your ankle. Yeah. So this is right. to stop that. The whole leg needs to be rehabbed. And what's number seven, Brad? Well, then you're ready. This is going up to uh, high impact. You're ready to start running, but you don't know. And you want to get prepared, maybe going to bath, back into athletics. Right. You simply, get, I always go 15 seconds. So we're just going to start some low impact, hopping up and down, equal weight on both ankles da, 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 for 15 seconds. And if you can, most people can do about 30, 33 of these in 15 seconds. Okay. Then here's a line on the floor. You don't need a line, but I like a line of visual. You're going to hop forward and backwards, and then you're going to count. Now, when I count, I go one, two, three, four. I don't go back and forth as one. And usually about 30 in a high 20s, most people high school age will do that. And then we go right to left. If you can do this and get about 30 repetitions in 15 seconds, you're in, you're in the normal range. Sure. Now, this is the big test. Once you get done with that, you go on your good leg. This is my good leg. And you should be able to do this without a stick. Right. But if you need a stick, fine. You do the same test, up and down, 15 seconds. Then forward and backwards, and right to left, 15 seconds each. And you count on your good leg how many you have. Now you test the sore leg. This is the one that tells you if you can go out and run again. Okay, on the sore ankle, up and down, 15 seconds, and you count. If you did 30 on this leg, you should be able to do 26, 27 at least right. on this one. So you're comparing. And, right. and if the left one did, like you said, 30, yep. you want to be close to it. Right. Without pain. Right. If it hurts, eh, you're not ready. Yeah. If you're, it hurts in any direction, right. you're not ready. Up and down is the easiest one, but you have to do the forward and backwards one as well. And then the right. And this one's usually the hardest, 15 seconds. And if you pass all those tests, you've gone through the lucky number seven, you'll be able to get out there and start running around and having a good time without your sprained ankle. Uh, oh, oh, oh it's my body to play. There we go. All Once right. again, we've uh, wasted another 13 minutes of your day. We're just kidding, Bob. All right. But we're <laughs> thankful for, for you watching. Right. Thanks a lot. Good luck with that ankle.